I am pumped for this video today. I get asked all the time on my stream to show my stream setup. And so here we go, here it is. In three, two, one, let's go. So there it was, that was my stream setup. And I have a couple core things that I wanna talk about today, especially if you're interested in streaming or becoming a YouTuber that I think will really, really help you. But if you're new to the channel, new to this video, my name is Matt, you can call me Rar Penguin. I am a Twitch streamer and I have a family-friendly, positive and uplifting Twitch community. If you wanna check us out, the link will be down in the description. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really helps me out with the algorithm and all of that stuff. So let's dive right in to my top two takeaways when it comes to streaming and YouTube setups. So my first and maybe even the biggest takeaway from this video is to stop comparing. When you jump on YouTube or you check out uh, your, your favorite streamer on Twitch, you're going to see that their setup may be your dream setup. They may have a ton of equipment, a ton of different gizmos and gadgets and things that they use during their stream. But I want to encourage you to stop comparing yourself to somebody at a different level in a different stage than where you're at today. Start with where you're at and be comfortable with that. Know that in time, if this is gonna become a career path for you, if it's gonna be a side hustle or just a hobby, learn that over time you can upgrade your streaming setup so that it can become more and more of what you dream of or whatever you think would be the best setup for you right now. For me, I have upgraded my setup over time. In fact, this monitor that I'm looking at right now with my webcam on it that I'm recording this video on was actually my main gaming monitor for years until I upgraded to the bigger monitor that you saw in the B-roll footage. I'm still using this monitor propped up on a literal paper shredder cardboard box so that I can see chat and engage with people and get this sick, you know, this sick angle and uh, camera angle and everything that you see for my background. Another thing that I've upgraded in the last month that I've been super excited for, especially for my streaming and the experience there, is my new PC from CyberPower that you saw. I can do a full review of my purchasing experience and review of the computer so far in a different video, but I will say that I went from playing Fortnite on Fridays and it looking literally like claymation, like the graphics would not pop in at all, to where it runs super smooth and allows me to not have the stress of knowing that the game will not run optimally, which takes me away from being able to connect and engage with my viewers and my community. So that's tip and takeaway number one is to stop comparing. Where you're at today is, is where you're at today. Start there and be happy about it and then upgrade over time to where you can have your dreams set up. And takeaway number two is actually gonna be very simple. You saw my setup in the all the kind of craziness that's in front of me with my multiple monitors, my computer, I have my desk, you saw my setup here with the snacks and the drinks and everything to my right, your left, and I even am using this room for storage in my apartment. I've got my guitars and my piano, there's a lot of different things going on, but one thing you'll notice is everything behind me, everything that the camera can see, I have it picked up and it's neat, and I have these LEDs and some sound paneling, uh, really cheap sound paneling, by the way, from Amazon. Uh, and then I have my penguins back here, which is on theme with Rar Penguin. And so I would really encourage you, it doesn't, like what you're looking at, you wanna make sure that it's at least picked up and it's comfortable for you to be able to play games at and to be able to engage with your viewers. But what really matters is to have some sort of background that isn't gonna distract people or take away from your quality or production quality on your stream. And so keep in mind that what the viewer sees, what you're watching right now is way more important than necessarily what I am seeing in front of or around me. Over time, you know, as, as my stream continues to grow, as this YouTube continues to grow, this is all gonna look different, you know? That goes back to tip number one. Start with where you're at, upgrade over time, but also make sure that the viewing experience for everyone that's watching is picked up and neat, and maybe even you throw some lights in the background too. Do something to spice it up and, and make it not boring, if that makes sense. 
anyways it's been a great time showing y'all my stream setup if you got any questions or you have any specific uh, things you want to ask me about jump down in the comments and let me know i'm honored to have you here thanks for sticking around i'll see y'all for the next video or on stream link in the description bye everyone